All right, let's see. Hopefully this works okay. All right, what's up everybody? So what we have here is the obvious license plate holder. Um, I never loved this from the very, I remember before I even ordered this bike, I remember asking Juice if you could remove this license plate holder and they said you couldn't. Uh, a couple of people online chopped it off and I thought, you know, maybe I'll do that. But when you first get a bike like that, this expensive for me, it's not something I wanted to do right away. Start chopping things off, especially it's in warranty and all this other stuff. Uh, my bike's well out of warranty now. So I think what I'm going to do, um, been thinking about it for a while. I just don't love the way this looks. I don't need a license plate where I live. I feel like it may, I don't know. I don't know if this attracts more attention or not. I like being as low key as possible. So, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to, you know, take this license plate off and I think I'm going to chop this, this holder off here. Uh, so what I'll do now, I'm just going to remove this license plate and then I'll show you what's underneath and, and what we're going to do from there. So I just removed the license plate screws. Uh, one went there, one went there and you can see the license plate's still on. Uh, because what I did, I noticed that there was like, it jiggled when I had the license plate, even though I had these two screws, it still kind of jiggled. So what I did was to hear it just to make sure it would not rattle around. I put some Velcro, uh, inadvertently made a weird smiley face guy. Um, it puts a little Velcro here, here and up here and up here just for this to stick on, less rattly. So what I'm thinking of doing, I am going to, I'm gonna leave this part of the license plate on. So if I ever did need to put another license plate on for some weird reason, I can always, uh, I could always use these screws, <clears throat> or these holes rather, to adhere another license plate if I needed to. So what I'm gonna do, I think I'm going to cut right down here and then all along here and then cut here. I have a Dremel tool I'm going to do that with. And yeah, I think I'm going to do it. I don't, I don't know. I just don't like, I don't like this thing. I feel like it'll look nicer without it. Also, um, you may or may not notice, I don't have these side plates on. Now that comes into a whole nother thing. I'm, I'm going to talk about a wire that I um, found my bike was dying out. This might make sense. I think I'm going to put the, the two videos together. I had my bike die out recently and it was due to a wire being squished from the manufacturer. There is a bolt that holds the seat down under here. And one of the wires going right into the controller was squished by a bolt in the seat. I, I'll explain it more in the other video. I'm not sure I'm going to combine them. Man, look at how how bald this tire is. I'm due for some new tires. I just got new tires for my BMX bike, this paycheck. So I gotta wait next paycheck to get some tires for this. So there's that. But anyway, uh, the Dremel I have is a little tough. I got it for free, it was broken. It only has like speed high and low. All the medium speeds are gone, but I'm gonna do my best. I'm not sure where I'm gonna do this or if I'm gonna do it outside, I have to take this off. When I, anytime I all, anytime I ever do work on my bike, I always make sure to just pull the batteries out. It only takes a sec to pull the batteries out. I don't want any kind of shorts happening or the little effort that it takes to remove the battery could, uh, you know, really save you if something shorts out. So I recommend taking your batteries up before you do any work on the bike. Anyways, I'm blabbing here. I'm going to, I think I'm gonna start dremeling this. I'll keep you posted as I go along. Maybe I'll try to film a little bit of it if I could. Otherwise, wish me luck and we'll see, see how well we can remove this. All right, so I took the uh, plate off, took this wire out, hit it up here, batteries are out. I'll tell you, when you take the batteries out and you go to like lift the back of the bike up, you're like, man, this thing is, feels like light in a way because those batteries are so heavy. Oh, so you can see here, maybe, that bolt right there was squishing a wire that went right in the controller and it was causing an error eight 
I'll explain that a little bit more. What that's the bolt that was squishing my wire. All right, let's get onto the cut here. Okay, this is the Dremel cut tool I'm gonna use here. Figure out like zip it, zip, zip, zip. I'm probably gonna do this side a little janky. I'm just gonna chop this off like that. And then chop that off and then like I'll clean it up after. Uh, one thing I do recommend also, always, 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 when you're dealing with stuff like this, chopping things that could fly in your eyeballs, always recommend safety glasses. I could just think like the, the small amount of effort to put some safety glasses on, like think, imagine getting hit in the eye with something, the doctor visits, the bills, the, oh my God. So take a half a minute, slap some safety glasses on. Even if they're sunglasses, they're better than nothing, I think, that's used at your own risk, but some kind of eye protection. So I'm gonna put these on, let's get started. Uh, very first thing I'm doing, I think I'm just going to chop this off from right here and then we'll clean it up after, but just to get the big thing out. All right, let's see. Hopefully this works okay. All right, so I got this off. And then I'm going to figure out how I want to clean, clean this side up here. I think I might just zip this off and then figure out what I want to do on this side. Phase two. I don't feel like this is the worst lighting ever. I'm sorry. Well, we're gonna clean these up. Not sure how I'm gonna angle those yet, but we'll see. I'm not gonna be able to film that. I don't think it's gonna be too much, but we'll see what it looks like after. So that's the... Get in there though. This is easier than I... Well, I didn't think it would be too hard. 
I know this lighting's a nightmare, but it's, it's all I could do here. All right, we continue. All right, and here we have the finished product. So after I um, dremeled it down, I used a very, very fine sandpaper to just smooth it out. Uh, these have to be left here because right behind this is actually the wire that powers it. So I actually, I couldn't take this off if I wanted to, so I'm glad I didn't even want to do that. You can see some of the dremeling there. Yeah, that's it. Um, looks good. I don't hate it. I don't love it, but I think I like it better than the license plate. Put these back on. Um, how to remove your license plate. Thanks for checking out the channel and we'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.